Greetings and welcome to Currents Up Close. My name is Kim Manning and I'll be your host for today's program. And I have two very special guests with me today, Jay Stoddard and Linda Kennedy, both with the Sturgis Falls Celebration. The weather's starting to warm up and everybody in town's getting excited about the celebration. How about you two? I, we're, we're jazzed, ready to go. <laughs> you've, been work, you've been working on it all year long. Yes. Uh, the board meets 12 months out of the year, don't yep. they? We, we have a one. We have a supposedly a one-hour meeting, 12 months out of the year, and uh -huh. uh, we nick away of it, at it a little bit at a, at a time, and we have a timeline. Yeah. We do certain things at certain times, and so we're getting now. This is crunch time, so uh, <laughs> if it ain't done now, it probably isn't going to get done. So. <laughs> well, you're pretty good at it. I'm sure it'll get done. So tell us, what do you got cooked up for this year? What's new? Well, our theme this year is uh, let the good times roll. And uh, I think that's the artwork uh, is, is shown behind us here. And uh, that is the, will be on the front of the program guide. It's on our posters, uh, should be all over town. Uh, the dates are June 24th, 25th, and 26th this year. And uh, we have uh, a number of new things that are gonna happen. Uh, you wanna talk about the coupons? We have, that's probably the biggest new thing. Uh -huh. I think that is. Uh, this year we're doing a food audit, and so we'll be selling food tickets as opposed to the vendors accepting cash. And in Overman Park, we'll be having um, multiple ticket trailers that are going to be staffed by volunteers from our local financial institutions. So we're hoping that we can get the major kinks worked out and hope that the folks will be uh, patient and courteous with us and with the people that are staffing this because it's a new experience for all of us but sure. we feel we feel confident that it's going to be fine it, we just have to get to it and through uh -huh. it well we're trying to take more financial responsibility with the entire festival and, and uh, uh, certainly the the food coupon uh, issue is, is one of them we've been talking about this for years in doing this and we just want more control over when the money comes in and, and having control of that and so uh, we think that'll solve that problem. We'll, we will have three um, ticket booths in uh, Overman Park, and uh, we're very grateful for the uh, for the, all the banks and the financial institutions that are uh, donating their time to help make that happen. So I think it's a good community uh, effort and program, and we're yeah. excited to, to make it happen. Well, to have a festival of this magnitude all free, um, that's uh, understandable that we'll need to make a few changes and adjustments. To there'll, there'll be a food a ticket booth at Gateway as well mm -hmm. and at the car show so any of the venues to where food is served that is meant for public consumption will have a will have a ticket booth there so it's not just in Overman but we'll have the other areas too. And all the food items are will be priced on the dollar so they'll be the coupons are one dollar a piece and so it'll be real easy uh, for people to uh, buy what they want and uh, great. turn them in. Yeah. Great. I think people are used to that with other festivals and yeah, so yeah. great. Good luck with that. Thanks. Um, other changes? I know you're making some improvements to the grounds. Gateway Park has probably been um, the greatest thing that's ever, a uh, piece of real estate that's ever been taken over by Sturgis Falls because of Island Park being flooding and then Tourist Park and so forth. and. Uh, the, I think it's 8.7 acres, the whole area over there, and being able to move the carnival over there and having uh, uh, the gateway market uh, there, and then down into where all the, uh, the food uh, and beer and uh, main entertainment there, all of that is, is huge. But we've had a problem with, uh, with raining and mud and wood chips and so forth, and so uh, we went to city council and asked to have the area a good portion of it uh, hard surfaced and so thanks to ASPRO for providing that and uh, Matthias Landscaping for prepping the grounds and uh, I think what's being shown there is the prepping of the grounds right there that was done here just in the last few days and then all that will be hard surfaced so we will not have wood chips and uh, it should be very user friendly for the public and so under all the tents and everything uh, and I know some people like the all natural with the wood chips uh, but when you mix it with mud and uh, water, not so much. And yeah. so this will be a wonderful improvement and uh, will probably be a, uh, make that park much, much more uh, tenable to any weather things that come up. Uh-huh, great, great. Well, um, so those are two big new things. 
Uh, but we've also got the uh, regular stage entertainment that everybody's yeah. come to enjoy and expect. You want to kind of give a quick rundown? Sure. Um, this year we'll have a lot of our favorites back and, and we're going to have some, some new faces and some returning faces. But just to highlight a few of the things, the uh, Camp Lejeune Marine Band that will be in the parade on Saturday morning and then performing their concert Saturday evening at Overman. They have a, a Dixieland ensemble that'll be with us on Saturday afternoon, which is fun and it'll be the first time that we've had a, a small group as part of the Marines for a, for a good while. And that'll be great. And then we also will have returning the um, Iowa National Guard, or, excuse me, Iowa Army National Guard, the 34th band will be back, and it's my understanding that Scrap Metal will be with us again, and they were extremely well received in Overman last year. A lot of fun, high energy, good music, so it was awesome to have them there with us. So it'll be, it'll be great, and uh, we'll, you know, we look forward, of course, to all the opening ceremony and talent show stuff on Friday. And then on Sunday morning, we're doing slightly different than we've done. We're going to have a, a variety of contemporary worship bands and not just a one specific worship band, but a couple mm -hmm. that aren't church affiliated. So it'll be a little bit of a change, but still good music and enjoyable for the folks that are in the park. Great, great. How many bands do we got lined up? Well, That's a I, lot of I know that I know that I didn't uh, count. <laughs> I know yeah. that in the past we've we've counted up all over the different 20. acts and things, not just bands, but we've you know we've had over a hundred different acts and bands. But uh, for instance, in uh, Gateway Park, we have twelve bands down there, and uh, of the twelve bands, there will be seven brand new bands there that uh, aren't there, and there will be five returns. So we have on Friday night at five p.m. Uh, stage right, followed by Wicked Andersons, and then uh, 16 Candles there out of Chicago, very popular band. And uh, uh, then on Saturday, start out at 1 o'clock with Sideshow Bob, uh, Tim and the True Tones, followed by Stackhouse, Checker, and then the biggest band we've ever had, uh, Hotel California, which is the uh, uh, Eagles tribute band that's, that's coming. So we're very, very excited about that. And then on, on Sunday, 1 p.m. again, we have Ace Jones, followed by PV and the Phantoms, and the ever-popular Bob Dorr Band and the Blue, the Blue Band, uh, and then New Odyssey, which is three guys and uh, I think it's 30 instruments. And uh, they're, they're also a national act out of Chicago, and I think everybody will just love them as well. Fun stuff. Well, we mentioned earlier, all of this is free, and that's yes. because you do such a great job getting sponsors and the community steps up and helps out. Well, we have, uh, we've tried to put up a kind of a policy, like if a band is going to be playing or an act, we basically are saying we've got to get it sponsored. And I think we've been very fortunate in having virtually every single act and, and band sponsored by uh, all the businesses and towns and, and different people and whatnot. So. Uh, getting that accomplished is, is major league. For instance, we had uh, uh, some of our biggest uh, sponsors would be, uh, for instance, for Hotel California, that would be uh, Pete, Pete Downs and uh, Waterloo Tent and Shade Creations along with his class. And that's, this is a band that's going to be playing for his 40th class reunion. So they've got the skybox that they're renting. And so uh, we are very, very appreciative of Pete and, uh, and his group uh, doing that. But uh, we've got, you know, the Mud Group uh, is another huge uh, uh, sponsor for us uh, with the Marine Band. Uh, Martin Brothers with, uh, is sponsoring 16 Candles. And these are, uh, are huge monetary things that are taken off our plate. Mm -hmm. And, as, you know, it's a community effort and everything uh, makes it a very doable thing for us. Without that, there's just no way that we'd be able to make that happen. Yeah, um, it'd, be, it'd be really hard to, to just go down the list right now, but sure. we certainly want to honor those people. And that is available in our program, which will be coming out at the very end of this week. And then we'll have it for between now and Sturgis. And then we'll also have that updated and put on our website too. So we, we'd love for folks to take a look at. And if you're there, sponsor, spon or thank the sponsors. And you can always check out the website at www.sturgisfalls.org. 
Yeah, lots of information there. And there's tons, also an app tons. you can download. Yes, for um, your, for your uh, iPhone and your Android. Mm -hmm. and, and you just go to the website, and it's in the upper right, on the upper right corner. And it'll be, if it hasn't already been updated, it'll be updated soon. So Great. it's and there. Far Reach Technology helps us with our website as well as that app. Mm -hmm. And we're very thankful. Again, another sponsor uh, helping us uh, take care of the different uh, minutiae of, of everything. And so um, it's this giant jigsaw puzzle. And uh, by the time we get all through with it, it's a pretty picture. <laughs> it is. And, and speaking of a jigsaw puzzle, there's some parts we haven't talked about yet. And that would be our dignitaries. Um, oh. This year, mm -hmm. our grand marshals are Joe and Linda Bohr. And our celebrity marshals are the, the group Milk and Honey, which is exciting. They're on the Overman stage and being our celebrity marshals. They're also Iowa Rock and Roll Hall of Famers from, from in the years past, so that's wonderful. Our host and hostess will be Jim and Jody Landau. And our uh, poster artist, which she did a super duper job, Nicole Lahr. And our Cornerstone Award this year is gonna be headed toward the El Cahir Shrine, which brings up the parade because they are going to be one of our featured uh, groups in the parade because they're bringing multiple units. So that'll really be fun this year. That's, that's a real nice part of the festival, it is. honoring local dignitaries and such. It is. Well, the shrine, the shrine bring to the table so many different parade uh, entries, and we're always trying to get them to do more and more entries. And uh, this year, all of a sudden, making them the cornerstone, the potentate has designated Sturgis Falls as their one uh, big parade that they're oh, going to wow. do. So all of these entries now will be in it, and it'll be phenomenal. It'll, it'll really be special. Really, yeah. really be very, very special. Yes. Yeah. Great. Great. Fun. Well, you mentioned um, you mentioned the program booklet earlier, and um, I want to just make sure that we tell people where they can pick those up. Well, we know for sure they're going to be at, at tourism because that's mm -hmm. that's our main one of our main locations. I'm sh the Cedar Falls High V. We also distribute them uh, via our sponsors. All, they all get a portion because uh -huh. that's part of being a sponsor. And so they will be around town in, in multiple locations. And that would be another option to check the website and see who the sponsors are and swing by, say thanks, and pick up a program. Sure, and the, sure. the program's another thing. It's, it's a four color, very, very well done, classy uh, uh, printing project. And uh, they're free. And it's, uh, it's paid for by the yep. uh, nominal amounts that people pay for uh, an ad in there. And it, we're, we just hope basically to break even on the program guide. And so, but by doing all that, we're able to provide this nice uh, program guide for everybody to have and uh, people collect them and whatnot. So yeah, we're very proud to, to have such a classy uh, uh, program guide. Great, great. So, um, they can pick up the program guides at the uh, visitor center mm -hmm. at hy V mm -hmm. and at um, local businesses that are sponsors, correct? Correct. Great, great. Well, we're going to take a little break, and then we'll come back, and we'll talk more about what's coming up on our special Sturgis Falls weekend. Let the good times roll at the 41st Annual Sturgis Falls Celebration. Overman Park features great music all weekend long, including the Camp Lejeune Marine Corps Band on Saturday night. We've got fun for the kids under the Kids Way Tent or enjoy the carnival at Gateway Park. Join us for the Sturgis Falls Parade on Saturday. Sunday, enjoy over 100 vendors at the Arts and Crafts Fair. Let the good times roll at the 41st Annual Sturgis Falls Celebration in Cedar Falls. Join us for the Cedar Basin Jazz Festival, June 24th through 26th in Cedar Falls. Daytime entertainment features the greatest jazz musicians around, including the Saints Dixie Land Band and the Claim Jumpers. Friday night at Sturgis Park, join us for Amelia and Molina and Dylan Sires and Neighbors. Saturday night, it's the Steepwater Band and Iowa's own The Nada's rocking the stage. It's a party in the park at the Cedar Basin Jazz Festival, June 24th through the 26th in Cedar Falls. Let the good times roll at the 41st Annual Sturgis Falls Celebration. The Gateway Park stage will be rocking with Chicago's number one party band, 16 Candles, the number one Eagles tribute band, Hotel California, and New Odyssey, three guys with 30 instruments. Visit the Gateway Market, featuring unique vendors and services. Sunday, get your engines revved up for the 10th Annual Sturgis Falls Car Show. Let the good times roll at the 41st Annual Sturgis Falls Celebration in Cedar Falls. Thank you. 
Welcome back to Currents Up Close. If you're just joining us, we're talking about the Sturgis Ball celebration today. And I've got Jay Stoddard and Linda Kennedy here uh, to tell us about what's planned for this year's special event. Linda, we've been talking about the theme, and I love Let the Good Times Roll. It's really great. You brought a t-shirt along. I did. Do you want to show that? Yes, because, of course, it goes with the same pattern as the program and the poster, but we just thought this was a lot of fun. And the red t-shirt, I think, just pops. And so. it's kind of glittery, the, the yes. silver. Yes, so. it's, it, 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 is in, it is intended to be silver as opposed to gray, and it's, I think it's just a lot of fun. That's so. a winner. Where can people pick those up? Tourism, yes. the visitor center, yes. and they'll also be available <laughs> at World's Window, and they and they are currently available. So pick one up before the festival, which Absolutely. let's say the dates again. 24, uh, 25, 26 of June. Okay, always the last full weekend of June. Correct. Correct. And they that also can be purchased can uh, in Overman Park at the uh, during, memorabilia, the information during, booth there. During the weekend, during yes. The weekend, yep. We'll have those at, at the at the at the big we'll have our green tent up and mm -hmm. it'll be ready to roll and we'll have those and the price the price is always the same we we don't vary it to where you know location is before sure. or during it's they'll be the same price and prices they were last year and if there's any left over i don't know if there will be because it's a cool design this i would year. hope not if there's any left over then we sell them out at the visitor center after the festival if yes. you missed your chance but yes. get them while you can, because I think exactly. they're really nice this year. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Well, we talked earlier about some of the um, improvements we're making, like to the grounds, and uh, the food coupon is a new thing for this year. Also, it's going to be the 10th anniversary of the car show, right? Correct. You yep. want to talk about that a little bit? The car show will be on, on Sunday the 26th, and uh, the cars will start rolling in. Uh, at around seven o'clock in the morning, actually, and uh, being classed uh, by the Jeep uh, Club, and the trophies will be handed out uh, shortly after one o'clock in the afternoon, okay. noon o'clock, noon to one, when all the voting is done. Uh -huh. But we'll have uh, food over there as, as well, and we talked about the food coupons being there. That'll be true, and we need to give credit to our poster artist for the car show, which oh. is oh, Rob sure, Swatley. Yeah. He did a super duper job. Mm -hmm. And there will be t-shirts also available for people to purchase uh, at the car show. And if people want to go online, they can actually register for the car show at sturgisfalls.org and go to the car show uh, tab. And they can order everything online, pay through PayPal and so forth. And that includes a t-shirt as well as registration for however many cars they want to do. Registration is $15. Mm -hmm. It's uh, very reasonable. And uh, hopefully we have no rain, yeah. and so everybody can see the beautiful cars and, and whatnot. So we get a lot of cars in for that, don't we? Well, we especially uh, when it's sunny. Yeah, when it's sunny. <laughs> anybody that has a car, especially like a convertible, you, you don't drive your car when it's wet out no. or muddy or anything like that. So when we have beautiful weather, it's perfect for a car show. We're praying for that this year. Police Officers Memorial Park uh, is is where the car show was held uh, at the end of Lincoln Street. Uh, right across from uh, Dolly's Taxi in the park, and the park has a huge, huge area there. People can park actually all the way down Lincoln Street uh, in the all the parking available there. We will have uh, trams and uh, six-seater golf carts to take people from mm -hmm. their parking uh, to the car show. And there are a lot of people, like a lot of the men, uh, have their... Uh, have their wives come with them and then they're not so much in, into the cars and so they can take a tram across the the bridge oh, sure. and go uh -huh. over to the uh, the arts and crafts uh, uh, over there in, by Overman Park and so it's a, it's a very user-friendly thing for people um, we do ask a, a dollar donation for the golf carts as well as the trams it's a uh, uh, it, it's, we hope we break even on the rental of the carts and, uh, and the trams and so forth. And so it's basically an accommodation for everybody. So sure. the car show uh, benefits a great deal from the trams and, and, uh, and golf carts. But also people that are coming to Gateway Park for the uh, Gateway mm -hmm. Market or the Carnival or for the entertainment, the, the, the six-seater golf carts are, are a great way uh, for people to get around, uh, 
and they are being run by, they were called the Derby Divas, they're yeah. now called the Push Up Brawlers. Great uh, group of gals that are with the roller derby. Yep. And they're tough gals, and uh, we've got lots of nice reports and compliments about how courteous and quick and efficient they are. And but, so yeah. we hope everybody uh, uses the system. And uh, again, we'd, we'd like a dollar donation per person mm -hmm. uh, for, for those two accommodations and our transportation. So it's been, that's been a new addition. I think it's been, you almost need it with uh, the different uh, people that have ambulation problems and the convenience for people just to be able to get on a cart and be taken right where they want to well, go. It's a nice service, very nice. You mentioned earlier uh, being in Gateway Park uh, offers a lot of great advantages. Um, so accommodating uh, for that distance with the golf carts is great. There's great parking there. So that's more convenient for people. You want to talk about the Skybox? You also have sure. that available. Uh, the, the Skybox is down in, in Gateway Park, and that's something that can be rented by uh, class reunions or businesses and so forth. And so, uh, for instance, uh, Pete Downs, class of uh, 1976, his 40th, uh, he's renting the Skybox. Uh, uh, the class of 1996, their 10th reunion, they're renting it on Friday night. Um, the class of 1981 is renting one of our party tents. So we have actually the Skybox and Party Tent 1 and Party Tent 2 for class reunions to uh, be able to rent and uh, be right down in the action. Um, they can get all kinds of services there if they want to have catering or they want to have uh, beer and so forth there or other beverages. I mean, it's very, very user friendly down there. And, and we've had a lot of uh, requests from people wanting to know where can we set up a tent, what can we do, and so we came up with this idea uh, initially with the Skybox and then we found out that was so popular, it's being booked years ahead, uh, that we came up with uh, these tents that people can uh, can rent. So they're they're very pri private, restricted, and uh, you know, it adds a little class a nice for little people option, yeah. to have it's, there. Yes. Yeah. You mentioned class reunions, of course the Sturgis Falls celebration is always a big uh, draw for all of the class reunions. That reminds me that uh, the Cedar Basin Jazz Festival is also the same weekend and uh, they'll be hosting the um, NU High and St. Pat's uh, all school reunions. I understand St. Pat's is celebrating their 125th anniversary this year so there'll be a reunion over in that park. That's at Sturgis Park over by the Ice House Museum um, and uh, They'll be providing some great Dixieland jazz music and then also the late night offerings. Right. They start out, I believe, at uh, 5 p.m. On, uh, on Friday with the Saints Dixieland. And uh, they've got uh, four bands that play on, on Friday. And uh, there's like five or six bands that play on Saturday. Um, the Nadas are, are in the, and Sleepwater, I believe, are the two bands that play uh, late on, on Saturday night. And uh, Dylan Sires, I think, is the late band on uh, Friday on night. On Friday, yeah. In this, and so and Dandelion Stompers on uh, Sunday. It's not their late, but, but that's the last uh, band they have on, on that day. Right. They'll be uh, partnering with the Beyond Pink team to do a fundraiser. So they'll be donating $2 for every beer uh, ticket sold um, by the Beyond Pink team. So you can see details about that at uh, cedarbasinjazz.org. Also on Friday night is the firefighters dance yes. uh, that's going to be at the uh, new renovated, not re rebuilt, I guess, not renovated yeah. uh, beach house. And so that'll be uh, an inaugural thing down there that they return uh, down there. Gosh, uh, I think it was 2007 was the last year that they were there. And then we had the flood in 08. And so uh, it's been a long, long haul of getting the beach house up and going. And so this is a a wonderful thing for uh, for them to be able to go back there uh, with the uh, boat club is also putting that on with the uh, with the firefighters and they've got the snozberries on Friday night mm -hmm. and uh, going to be at eight o'clock is when things uh, start doors open at six and so we're hoping that that uh, is a good event uh, for them to kick that off and everybody can go see the new new beach house uh, digs down yeah. there if they didn't go to open house or have seen it. Back to tradition, it's, huh? It's a beautiful, <laughs> uh, a beautiful building, it really yeah. is. So should we talk about the Gateway Market a bit? I don't know if we've really touched on that too much. The Gateway Market falls between uh, the uh, Carnival and the 
uh, Kiwi Entertainment. In the, in the entertainment area, and it's uh, uh, an area that basically anything can be sold there. It's not uh, arts and crafts. Arts and crafts would be just for the uh, on Sunday of the arts and crafts show over by Overman Park. But this is where people have. Uh, basically anything that uh, they want to sell down there. And there are a lot of businesses also that advertise mm -hmm, and put mm -hmm, up booths mm -hmm. and so forth. So um, it's an opportunity that uh, we were trying to uh, put an area that people could advertise or sell something that they wanted to sell that was not handmade or done by themselves that would be considered art. And so this, this is kind of a segue from that Great into solution. that offers. Uh, Jan Benson runs that over there. and. Uh, uh, she does a great job, and, and so uh, we still have space over there. If anybody still would like to rent a spot, they can just go online, and uh, the uh, information for applying and so forth is all, is all there at SturgisFalls.org. Great, perfect. Just to add that it is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Sunday, three days. And, and, it, and they run a full day. So um, the hours are available online. You can check the website for that. And like Jay said, you can register online. Um, and he also um, headed toward the Arts and Craft Fair, N not to be confused with Gateway Market. The mm -hmm. Arts and Craft Fair is in the area of Overman, and it is Sunday only. And like Jay said, it is intended for the folks that make their own items. And um, the Arts and Craft Fair will be Sunday only, the 26th of June, from 10 to 4. And um, it looks like we're going to have a sellout. This year. Great, you usually do, don't you? Not quite. Uh, we have a number of years where we come fairly close, but mm -hmm. this year looks like it's going to be a complete sellout. So, well, pretty exciting. Well, and I think there uh, we're eventually moving the nonprofit organizations that display and demonstrate um, right. over to Gateway next year. Correct. That's, yes, and that and that sense. has that has been that what that has not been a rash decision that's uh -huh. been a decision that was discussed over probably a period of five years or yep. more and um, it, we've just made the decision that because we want our show to be the artisans and crafters and folks were notified last year of the decision and they had the choice this year whether they wanted to be one place or the other and so there is a small designated area and then next year they will go to Gateway Market. That's a great way to uh, ease into that and I think it makes total sense people Thanks. as people understand that uh, last thing we got to hit is the parade that's a big deal very so tell us more about the parade well there's actually two we have a children's parade on Friday late afternoon they gather at Lincoln School and there's judging and then they peruse the way down from Lincoln School to Overman Park and and get to have a treat so that's really fun for the kids and they're usually led by a bagpiper so that's a lot of entertainment there mm -hmm. and it's just good fun the, ki the kids enjoy it and then of course we have our annual parade on Saturday morning dignitary kickoff at 9 30 regular parade at 10 um, it'll just be awesome we're looking forward to having not only the marine band but the Iowa National Guard 34th group with us as well the Shriners and then a lot of our class reunions like you were pointing yeah, at yeah. before it's, it should be a great parade this year. Lots of Shriners this Lots year. Lots of Shriners. <laughs> oh, we've got the route up on the screen now, yes. too, so that'll give you an indication. So. One thing that we, I mentioned, I meant to say when we were talking about the skybox is we do have uh, people wanting, we do have uh, some of the party tents that are still available. Okay. Uh, if anybody wants to rent one, all they have to do is go online and get a hold of us and we can set that up for them. Okay. Well, there's lots to cover, yes. um, and we've got great resources for people to check into between the app and the website. Again, Sturgis Fall Celebration will be the weekend of uh, June 24th to the 26th. We hope you'll come out and join in all the fun. Thank you so much, Jay and Linda, for being yep. with us. Thank you, Kim. And get out and enjoy the Sturgis Fall Celebration. Thank you for joining us.